The Leighton House Museum in London has opened a new exhibition called Meetings in Marrakesh, focusing on the paintings of Sir Winston Churchill and Hassan El Glaoui. Churchill, Britain's iconic wartime prime minister, was also an accomplished amateur painter. He went to Marrakesh in Morocco regularly, declaring it to be one of the loveliest spots in the whole world. During these trips, he met the Pasha's son, Hassan El Glaoui, who is now one of Morocco's most famous painters. The horses and, you know, horse scenes and traditional processions, like you, you have the one behind me, uh, this is what he's known for. When I had the first discussion with uh, Daniel Robbins, the curator of the exhibition, he wanted to make sure we chose some paintings that related not only to Marrakesh, but also were in theme with the landscaping of uh, Winston Churchill. I think Morocco was very important for his painting because he first went there in 1935 and between then and 1959 he spent more time there than in any other foreign country apart from America or France. During 1943 that um, Winston Churchill was in the office of my grandfather and he saw some drawings of my father. And uh, well, I did a bit of research for the catalog, you know, looking into the Churchill archives. And um, there were correspondence between, you know, the Pasha and uh, Winston Churchill about, um, about how, you know, he loved that day painting in the, the Atlas Mountain and the Eureka. And uh, so they had exchanges of, uh, you know, his passion basically of painting. And I can only assume that once during an office, you know, discussion, he saw some paintings of my father, or it was a topic of discussion just because, you know, they were two friends and, you know, his son had a passion for art and, you know, Churchill was in Marrakesh and loved to paint in Marrakesh. So I think, I think that might be, you know, the discussion they had over coffee or Moroccan tea, I don't know. Well, it became obvious looking at the work of both artists that uh, the most obvious sort of crossing point was their depictions of Marrakesh. And then when we began to place them next to each other and think about how they might combine, some very interesting comparisons emerged and similarities in palette and composition and, and all of those things that it would hold together and work together best in presenting both these artists. One here which he did in 1935 of the Katubia Mosque in Marrakesh which was a favourite one for him to paint and this is the same scene that in 1943 after the Casablanca conference he said to President Roosevelt you must come with me to Marrakesh, I must be with you when you see the sun setting on the Atlas Mountains. And the next morning, when the president had left, he went straight up to the tower of the villa where he was staying and painted the only picture that he did in World War II of the Katubia Mosque, which is a very, very similar scene to the painting we have here today. in Marrakesh, the paintings of Hassan El Glaoui and Winston Churchill runs until the end of March.